just happy to be here. There we go. Hello. Hope you're doing well today. Whew. I have had a morning. By that, I mean I voluntarily stayed up too late because I was having fun and way overslept. But hello. Thank you for the follow, Joy. Uh, potentially. I have been quite the, uh, I have been quite the minutes. I also think I broke this quest that I was currently on. Because I, uh, become, eh. I've become a little bit too much of a kleptomaniac. And I think I stole the thing I needed beforehand and broke the quest. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I need to at some point get the uh, get the DLCs on this account because it's been nice to replay New Vegas after all this time. I've 
played a tiny bit of three, played New Vegas, and I played four. New Vegas is still probably my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, like four. I played four through once without mods, and then ever since I have never played it without mods. It's one of those things where the story just feels a little eh. Well, thank you for the hydrate bucket and good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Also, I think I can probably go ahead and there we go. There we go. Now I can unmute the game. There we go. Nice. I feel that. So, what happened with me, and the reason why I'm starting at nearly 3, is, uh, I was up a little late last night. Having some fun, talking about some stuff. And, uh, way overslept. <laughs> so, now we're back here. And I need to figure out if I've broken this quest. So today might be a little on the shorter end, but we can still, we can still get a little bit of progress done. classes. So I I can understand that. Oh. I think I broke the list. Also, uh, got some good news. I should be able to, in the next, like, like, week or so, I should be able to get a new mic in. So, I'm very excited about that. Also means there might be a little bit of scuff because I'll be doing my audio settings. But I think overall the result in some very nice I'm really excited. Also, something I'm excited about that I can't go into full detail yet is next Wednesday I will not be playing Fallout, but I will be playing with a friend. So next week may may or may not be on my channel. We'll see. But I'm excited because I've been trying to uh get some things going for a little bit, and we finally found a day and something to do. Because apparently there's something that I have that has crossplay that I didn't know had crossplay, but it says it has crossplay. <laughs> so we're gonna try that. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. And it will be a little bit earlier next week. I think we're going to start at noon in my time. So I'll, I'll need to 
actually wait, wake up in time. But it'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you, Bucket. Really appreciate that. I'm almost entirely sure that I have broken this quest. What is going on over here? Oh, that's the doctor. I need to find a very specific person. And I don't know if I actually can or not. Because I gotta see if I can get somebody to go out. You know what, I'll talk to Victor. How are you doing, Victor? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Hi, Victor. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you like, and me, it's other than when I rolled than, into uh... town, Victor just suddenly the got the urge to go to New Watch Vegas. Yourself. Hmm. Be seeing you. I like that I've passed the time. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Okay, if that's what you think. I have to go in there and wait for her to come out. Okay. 
Okay. I think I did it. Here we go. Dead raider out here. Huh. <laughs> you know? Again? All right. Oh, yep, there it is. I was sitting there wondering, like, oh, did, did I did I really break it? I fix it and then break it. How you doing? That's it then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Yeah. Ah, uh, ruin. So yeah, uh, for context as to why that whole thing happened, somebody sold his wife into uh, slavery, and he was he's been looking for the person that did it for the longest time, and it was the owner of the inn. So that's why all that happened. You spent this whole time in staying here in the town just to uh, find out who did it before you left. Time to head to Boulder City. Thank you for the hydrate bucket. I should probably use a weapon that is not the slab of rebar. Return to nine. Helios one. Dawn of the Golden Age.
to avoid the old uh, copyright nonsense. <laughs> I will periodically hum songs that are in this game. If I remember them. grenade launcher the fucking grenade rifle look at this motherfucker Grenades. That shit hurt. The leader just booked it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Also, bloody mess. Bloody mess finally activated. Okay. Let's do this. Where's the grenade right? Why the fuck is there a grenade rifle? I need to find a bed, like, ASAP. Oh. Bed. Blessed healing. Uber Dam. NCR and Proud. Uh, you, uh. Merchant. Hey there. Need anything? Yes. I would like to buy things from you, merchant. Do you have stim packs by any chance? You have two. I'll take them. Okay, I'll also sell some stuff. have anything that I want to sell.
There we go. Ah, lovely tree. why I went into that voice. I really don't know. I just don't like being surprised by those red scorpions. Ow. Fuck. Your brain can do that. Whew. But yeah, no, like surprise scorpions, not 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 a fan of those. Can agree. Not a fan. <laughs> Also, like, reminding me, I should probably look and see if I can find my, uh, paper. Because I should absolutely try practice drawing. At some point. I really should. Because I keep putting it off. interested in that. I, I'm really just genuinely curious what a pseudo-scorpion is. Because them being totally harmless is interesting. Because aside from like scaring the shit out of me appearing out of nowhere, scorpions are kind of cool. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. Oh! So, they're literally just scorpions without a tail. That is really wild. Kinda neat. One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have private Ackerman and private Gilbert as hostages. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Normally, I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. Considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Good luck. Okay. 
going into the city. Thank you for the hat. Time to go find some great cons. That was very calm. Let's see, where's the guy I need to talk to? Oh, the guy I need to talk to is in here. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. I got better. And here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now. <laughs> it did. It did remind me of that as well. Luis, hello. Good to see you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm what? <laughs> Wait, one one day, one day what, Luis? Everybody gets appreciated here. It's the way things are. <laughs> He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Tops Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true. <laughs> there was still no way I could pass up the chance. Wholesome. He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. <laughs> Fine. I'm not afraid of a gunfight. I'd rather get back to Red Rock without a few extra holes in me if I can help it. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. We'd try to bribe our way out, but seeing as how Benny didn't pay us yet, that won't happen. <laughs> Eventually. So here's the thing. I uh, I can't save here. Fine. I'm gonna save real quick. Save right here. So we'll do the rest of that, but <laughs> uh I love that I have not given anyone really the ammunition to uh, to catch me off guard. It makes things really funny because I can appreciate everyone. And the only retaliation is wholesomeness. <laughs> Ooh. 
I have too much power. I'm getting real tired of talking. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Yeah, go on. Aside from this guy putting a well, helping uh, put a bullet in my head, dig my grave. Not too bad. Think what, what? 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 The thing is, what? Please. <laughs> See, there are things. There are things that would get me. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new but problem. Nobody remembers. Just got orders to take out the Great Khan. Nobody Hostages remembers exactly what gets me. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? You're right. The great cons are free to go. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. <laughs> I scoured Twitter. <laughs> I'm not going to lie though, scouring Twitter is a dangerous game. It might. It might do that. <laughs> it might do that. Wait, what the fuck? Just rolling along on my spurs. How the, f Looks how the like fuck I did Victor get here? New Vegas after all. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Yep. This is getting mighty embarrassing. People are gonna start to talk. <laughs> Fancy pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Spring. I'm, I'm sure he ran back to the soft living the new Is following me at this point? <laughs> Look me up when Did I kill one in the crossfire? And there goes Victor. Huh. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting to kill the second one while trying to kill the first one. That was a little wild. <laughs> well, now I'm following Victor. Because he's heading the way that I'm heading. Yes, there, there may or may not be things that will get me pretty easily that I don't talk about a whole lot. I 
have slipped and mentioned them maybe a time or two. I need a level. You know what? Question. How much do I need? Oh! I need like 400 XP! Here we go. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. What the fuck? The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. I mean, to be fair, Luis. That is the dangerous part of, like, scouring my Twitter, of all things. <laughs> it's pretty spicy. It is, it is pretty spicy. Under, under the pipe. The fuck? Oh. Oh god. Oh fuck. Um. Oh. Possibly. <laughs> Oh my god. Exactly, it's like they're they're headbanging at intense levels right now. <laughs> well this doesn't look safe. Maybe. Now I will walk on the pipe. And you know, Luis, it could it could be possible. Being around the void has a has a chance of corrupting. I just like the ranger armor. Wow, just a mercenary. The fuck? Oh, 
Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hey, New Vegas. I'm almost there. Doing it. Here it is. Done it. Made it to three sides. Day four. Uh, you know what? Fair, honestly. I can respect that. Side we go. <laughs> I, you know, I, I respect the dedication. There's a lot there. I have been rather busy. That's not what I was expecting to open the door to, but... Alright. 
well. Uh, What's up? This is uh... a. <laughs> that was something. Okay, so it wasn't there. I like that they have a light literally just powered by a battery. A light that's just there that's just powered by a fucking battery. <laughs> it's an old car battery. Make money. Valid strategy. Street razor. Cherry bomb. Stairs we go. Single bathroom. Another single bathroom. Bedroom. Uh, dressing room. Hey. Another dressing room. You want your hair done too? No, no, no. The kings are many, and their hair must be perfect. Okay, Sergio. Thank God the followers are here. I'd probably be dead now if it weren't for their doctors. Interesting. Another bedroom. What's up? Hi. Hey there. Thank you for the hydrate. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Day 30. We got something. That's the base. I both appreciate and respect that. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king is the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Let's go. Hey, yo. Rex. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. 
I want you to find out why. Yeah. Specifically, <laughs> the gang. I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. I love if that happens, so in a post-apocalypse in Vegas, Vegas there is so a smoothly. gang of Call people it a hunch. So, called the Kings that are just a bunch of Elvis impersonators. It's literally just a roving gang of Elvises. Okay then, once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, like it is this, genuinely the most call. Vegas thing ever. Hey. Hi. All right. So. Find Oris. Exactly, a roving gang of Elvises. Is, it's a statement that you never expect to say. But this this is the world that we live in in New Vegas. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. Let's go find Oris. Cause he's, you know, he's going to be uh, guiding me around. Because I, <laughs> kind of old to be so like the foy cake. This is Oris. Exactly, New Vegas game. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Wait, is this, is this Steve Bloom? Two hundred caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Hey, you want the best? You have to pay for it. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Watch for any suspicion. Yeah, right. Your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. If they don't outnumber you five to one. Like, can you believe this guy? Expecting me to follow directions and not have an ulterior motive? Like watching him for any shady activity. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Me who has the... Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Get here. This is kind of shady. Not going to lie. So notice that he has started running a little bit faster. Nothing to worry about. What the fuck? If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now.
I could literally call him out on only firing three shots. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Wow. <laughs> I can literally threaten him with bartering. You should give me all your money or I'll tell and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if I had more barter, I would totally do that. And stuff. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Yeah, sadly, not enough to barter. You can use the end stuff. Well, here we are. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing, or else. About that, Horace. I'm gonna go back over here and take what these guys had. Thug lies still, a victim of your recent fight. You could swear there's something odd about the corpse, but can't quite put your finger on it. Medicine 30 or greater required. Dude, these guys are not dead. is shady. Oh. Alright. Yeah. He only escorted me to the other door. He took me through one door. That's all he did for 200 caps. Sleep. About ten hours. That should be enough. He he was like robbing people, basically. Two hundred caps to go through, like two doors. What the fuck? It's a lot of money. Hey man, what are you up to? Bye. What's up? Hi. Wait. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Where is this telling me to go? Thank you for the hydrate. Upstairs. He's upstairs. Someone get a Wrangler tonight. 
Oh, there he is. What do you have for me? So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes oh. things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Let's go. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Let's go. We're gonna go find some problem people in the wasteland. Hello, Shatner. How are you? New Vegas is Hi. New Vegas. It's been amusing. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. All right. Let's see. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the huh. bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Ooh. Ooh. I have been playing that. It's good. Hope you have fun with... Hope you have fun being a pirate. I'm gonna be playing a lot of that, probably later. Yes, the new se the new season of in the uh, in Destiny Two is pirates, space pirates. You get to be a space pirate. And I'm kind of all for it. It's it's kind of fun. Titan Titan seems to have gotten the best out of it. I'll have to like try the hunters out. Yep, space pirates from space! And you get a leopard print ship. Sort of. It's kind of cool. Don't ask why. I'm kind of all for it. Also, Bungie on that big reveal tempting me to pre-order the next expansion because it looks cool as shit. Re 
Arrange more than Australian. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, oh. I just remembered something. I might have Space heard one wins. of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. Could have gone to At space. I think he said Lou. Instead, we ended might up going something by else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well. <laughs> <but he jumped laughs> Uh <laughs> Spaces, yep. <laughs> Hi. Uh <laughs> the fuck? The fuck are these kids just chasing that big fucking rat? What the fuck? Okay. Alright. Kids just running around chasing a big fucking rat. What the fuck? Yeah. It's New Vegas being New Vegas. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around. Particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. I mean, I could solve something by hugging. But then again, I have like nine. Like a hundred and guns and like ninety something in sleep, so I, I I don't know if my character for instance is the most huggable in the wasteland. Considering that I have both of the uh both of the like perks that give me extra damage and speech skills men and women. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Sweet. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though Garrets. I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. What do you want to talk about? Only a little. 
A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside. Though, well. she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Right? Well, that was awkward. That was like the most awkward end to that. It's like, anything else you want to talk about? Walks away. <laughs> like, oh, oh okay. Uh, all, all right. I didn't say, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here and start uh, taking a look at stuff. like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? And I'm afraid I have nothing to offer you. Sorry. Well, all right. expecting to hear. Sir. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess I can believe that. Just head to the northwest part of town by the old train station. We start handing out supplies at six every night. There'll be some guards by the door, but just remember that the password is hope, and they'll let you by right quick. Hell yeah, let's go. Hello! Welcome, Dr. Thalia. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Now, oh, the free side thug, I think, is afraid of me. Dude really did just spill the beans. Are you? Are you trying to jump me? Are you trying to jump me in this? Is that what the music switched? What do you need? Bye. That was weird. Hopefully. 
hopefully the uh, the tech support stuff goes well. I've been having to do that. In my, well, I've been having to do that in my own home for a bit, as of late, considering internet. Me staring angrily at a modem. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We've got stuff. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, there's the red thing. I probably had to go through that door, didn't I? Oh, Rex is great. There's just a lot of like, genuinely good NPCs in this game. Back through this door. So many jerk, and then you meet the kings. Exactly. <laughs> I've taken the wrong turn somewhere. The pump is property of the king. You'll need to pay if you want a drink. Me having to figure out exactly where I need to go when I feel like everything might be a little bit bugged. And I say that because I think my marker is a bit off. That or it's time based. It is time based. So, uh, let me six hours. That should be good. <laughs> yeah. He just wants to keep- he does kind of just want to keep the town safe. Papper is just there charging for water. It's- it's fine. That was an interesting scream. Oh, there's the bang graphs. It's pretty true. The NCR is just gonna protect themselves and also, like, really, really are trying to reinstate axes as an institution in the wasteland. Yeah. This 
can't just follow me around. Let's see. I think my, uh, my marker may be booked. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Now I need to figure out where the what the one is. Okay. <laughs> you want someone dead? Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. You yeah. want someone dead? I, uh, I, I've literally been, like, strolling through the wasteland this entire time, I believe, saying fuck the NCR <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Ow! Excuse me? me whack me in the back of the head and then try to run away <laughs> excuse me <laughs> yep lord death murder mountain there in a sense can't agree badger is hilarious that was a that was a blood curdling also, don't don't mind the fact that I have eight thousand nine millimeter rounds. Where is the NCR actually at? It's like there's definitely nothing going on in this corner. me looking around trying to find out where this NCR lady is. I mean I can I can show you exactly why. Let me me uh just uh see if I can find it. As we head back to Good Springs for a moment, <laughs> see if this actually fixes things. Let me do it like this. Seven hours. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Time to show why I have so much ammo. Hey there. Oh, there you are, Chet. You looking to buy some supplies? Oh. 
This. <laughs> I love All right. Vegas. Can do. Is it? Uh, you know the quest at the beginning of the game where you can choose to like help the powder gangers take over the town, or give uh. Or, uh, you know, help Ringo. I basically got that to, like, stick. Also, thank you for the hydrate. I think, uh, I think the chat extension will be lagging behind it. There we go. But yeah, I could essentially just sit here and bully Chet forever. And sell his armor back to him. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. I'm gonna keep doing this for a bit though, because XP. Give me another level chat. And, uh, you can never have too much 9 mil. Plus, I'm gonna take, like, all of his money again by giving him all of his armor back. <laughs> that one more level please. I love the fact that this is just All in right. the game and you can do I this can give and you still some... get achievements. It's pretty funny. Like genuinely this is really funny. There it is. And do. I'm just happy to be here. Thank you for following. Really appreciate it. Now I can move. Sell all of the armor. Another satisfied customer. There we go. Take it easy now. Now. Uh, what was I putting stuff into again? <laughs> uh... Martin? Is it explosives? Or medicine? Maybe it was medicine. You know what, we'll just do that. We'll do <laughs> We'll do medicine and explosives. Yeah, I hope you have a good nap. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Always happy to see people stop by. Big is almost back up to 20,000.
You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud oh, of. Oh, the fallout's going great. I do my best to help story. around town when needed. I made it to uh, Freeside. I'm talking to the Kings. Well, I've been doing work for the Kings. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started We've selling strange a good day meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's Jesus. place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Good to hear this. Get Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the Tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched a woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Ooh. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of... <laughs> no, escort just sounds better than man whore. <laughs> yep, I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation oh, I for being a stand-up guy too. again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. I also just remembered something about this game, thanks to that. All right. And I, I know there's a certain character Why? in actual New Vegas that I need to, uh, to meet. Wait. Oh, fuck. That just reminded me of NPCs. Woo! You want someone dead? Oh, now I need to see if I can find this. Ooh. 
it said nightly, so let's go. Oof. Sometimes it does happen, Cliff. Mine does that occasionally. You've been hydrated. Banana! Banana! Been having a good day. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Banana. Hey. That was interesting. He didn't... Thug did in fact explode. Remember to stop by one of these nights. Northwest, by the old train station. Northwest, by the old train station. I will go northwest and try to find the old train station. Let us see. Where could the old train station be? I did not intend for that to rhyme, but it did. Just inadvertently rhyming. If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Ralph's. Let's see if I can find this train station. Is this actually where it wanted me to go? This is actually where it wanted me to go. Hey. Hold up. What's the password? Head on through.
Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Here you go. I hope this helps. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Yes? Was there something else you needed? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. The man was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Now I gotta go kill the king. Let's see what happens from here. Marker's still booked. Come to Mick and Ralph for all your shopping needs. Come to Mick and Ralph for all your shopping needs. This marker has genuinely. Standing outside the king's twelve hours. I'm sure it's fine. Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us. Sir. Work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? That's a shame. Well, do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Here we go. Rix is a Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got them all at the silver rush. Wait, I should make every stop the atomic. I should go through this so that I can actually get to the train station. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to. And stuff we're not even allowed to sell. Well, that's some, some great business practice right there. Let's go. Gotta get here before everything goes to shit. Oh. Right. Really, a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no, thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Please, please do that. Oh my god, there's so many dead kings here. I have a feeling this is a bit, uh, might bit, uh, might bit rough. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, I'm gonna assume that Ace is trying to stab the king in the back.
Here we go. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Ah, oh, sweet. I get another perk. Uh, I should probably use Gunslinger. Additional experience bubble completes all the advantages of that difference. Sandman, stranger, and person. Mass. Thank you for the hydrate. Every location in the world revealed on your map. Grim Reaper Spring. Interesting. Uh, huh. Let me go with... Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? What about him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. 
Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Near as I can tell, was some sort of religious institution. Religious? Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. <laughs> not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the king. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to it, learn how to sing, great. dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too, along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Sure thing. What you have in mind? We're different than other gangs, and not just because we dress better. We're not just a group of thugs looking for our next fight. The kings are about an idea, you see. Well, every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing. Where every man is a king in his own right. We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others, and that's a no no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around. And if you play your cards right, things might change. Sure thing. What you have in mind? Ask away. Sure can. I have a friend who has just what you're looking for. Has a shop over yonder by the east gate named Mick and Ralph's. Just tell Ralph that I sent you, and he'll get you squared away. Easy. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Also, Let me see if I can find it. Me, who is notoriously bad at remembering directions. I guess I could also probably track that. Oh, never mind, I can't track that. It just tells me to confront Vinny and the cops. Bum, 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 bum. 
through the door. Okay, and go through the door. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Okay, so Mick and Ralph's, I'm gonna assume it's over this way somewhere. Hopefully not get stuck on that. Aha! Found it. Mick and Ralph's located. Let's go. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. One of his boys stopped in and said you had won the king's favor. You've done right by this town and deserve a pass. Here you go. Take a gander. Okay, what do you, what do you got here? You got some stim packs? I do not have any stim packs. That is rather unfortunate. I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. Who is the king? Stop back if you need anything. <laughs> Dude just gave me a pass because I said the king sent me. Part of me wants to know what his reaction would have been if I just said, Who's the king, by the way? <laughs> I love that that's even a dialogue option, just like... Ah, oh, the king sent me. Ah, oh, well. You're in the king's favor. Yep. Here you go. Here's the pass. But who's the king? <laughs> We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. Now it's time. To enter. Yeah. City. Vegas. That was literally an unprovoked attack. This is like existing, and he's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna attack you. I think you're gonna help me. Appreciate that. So now, let's go into New Vegas. And then it'll be about time for you to wind down. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you, madam. You may proceed. Let's go. We made it. Oh god, oh fuck. Um yeah. Had it, partner. You've got <laughs> Yeah. Uh by well, the way, we made it to new Vegas. <laughs> Everything's fine. 
Everything is totally fine in New Vegas. Absolutely nothing is going on here. And I'm not speaking this loud to cover up the thing that's going on in the background. Because, yeah, that's something that I forgot is going on here in New Vegas. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. Oh, well. I'm just going to keep talking while it continues to do that. Then it should be fine. Consider okay. Being your personal welcome that, uh, now that is something it. that caught me a little bit off guard. I'm not going to lie. Meow, 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 That was not what I was prepared for. I thought I had turned that down. Ugh. Well, now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't know. He'll be waiting. Hey, hey, baby doll, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Now let's see how many weapons I was able to, uh... Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. So let's see, real quick. What weapons did he miss? Okay, so I was able to keep the 9mm, two 10mm pistols. A 357 Magnum, 46 sticks of dynamite, a long fuse dynamite, and power pistol. I just want to point out the fact that he somehow missed 46 sticks of dynamite. <laughs> like, I walked in here with a bunch of weapons. And I was able to sneak a 357 Magnum, 210 mils, a 9 mil, 46 sticks of dynamite, a long fuse stick of dynamite, and a power fist. Nice. Well done. I look good in this. Hello. It, right? Like, it's not even a subtle amount of uh, dynamite. It's... Literally 46 sticks of dynamite.
Hello. Ring a ding, baby. Enjoying your stay. Have a good. Okay. So before I go do that, I'm gonna go over here and talk to. Let's go talk to this guy. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Come back soon now. Where to, partner? Alright, have a good nap, Fluffy. Thank you for stopping by. Penthouse 4. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I'm Jane. One of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Why, Sugar, he's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, oh, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why? Did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Anything? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in? Or out. Not another one that just ends without any complaint. Without. Alright. Here we go. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see?
city devoted to vice and said, what's not to love? Oh, come now, don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough, a superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They come to Vegas chasing penny ante dreams of high living to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. Thank you for the hydrate. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Thousand caps. Fuck it. What did you wish to know? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. Let's just say it was very costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. What else did you want to know? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I'd planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determined the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along, a more than suitable replacement. 
I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. As I said before, well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Until then. has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. I'm gonna go to Casino floor. I'm gonna go say hi to Ben. First things first, though, I'm gonna save as soon as we walk in. We're gonna say hi to Benny real quick. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Why am I getting a thing from Ambassador Crocker? So let me see, where, where's the thing? In regards to important matters, I trust you've learned enough in your travels to know that you are aware of what's going on. Engage in an apparent pressure. Laid, hi. Hello, Laid. Good to see you. to see you. Hope you've been having a good day. Uh, 
CR complete. That's good to hear. Wow. That's crazy. Now it's time to go say hi to Benny. I am going to save, like, right here. Because I'm gonna do something. Hey, hey, baby. Don't... Have a good... Okay, so what weapons did I keep this time? Not there this time. Never mind. Nope, he is there. So we're gonna let's save right here because I'm gonna do something. Thank you for the hydrate. What in the goddamn? Hi, Benny. Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. That broad everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. You making a pass at me, sister? Because I'm out of your league. Did those bullets scramble your egg? Or have you always been a naughty broad? You're one sick pussycat, baby. <laughs> there's Quinns, and then there's... I don't even know what to call you. I hear dig from you, babe, and all I can think of is a shovel. How can this be? This ain't forgiveness. It's something <laughs> wrong. All right, honey, baby, this is all kinds of wrong, but to my sweet it is. Thirteenth floor, don't keep me waiting. Well, keep those hands where I can see them. Can you? Can you see them? Well, sorry, that was mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean to that... <laughs> that was so mean to that poor guard. He didn't deserve that. Also, with a hundred speech, everything in the wasteland just becomes so easy. I got my eye on you, so no funny business. Also, Bet Thompson is so fucked up. Bet Thompson is so fucked up. Can I just can I just be honest about that? This fucking Thompson is Keep so fucking wrong. Him. Evening. It looks so wrong. Like, I don't think there was ever. I don't think there was ever. No sudden moves around the box. Got it. With a uh, a dinner plate bag. <laughs> the thirteenth floor. And there goes Benny.
Benny's gonna show you the tops. I hope you're built sturdy, you crazy broad. The time for talk has passed, honey baby. These mouths of ours have appointments to be elsewhere. Well, all right, Benny. Uh, you, uh, you are really not the brightest, are you? You tramp. Like I needed another social disease anyhow. I'm the boss. <laughs> it's my room now. But yeah, that that line, another social disease. Oh. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'll talk to you in a minute. meet you. What can I do for you today? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Uh, helpful or... I mean... Uh, just a yes, man. Sure! Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well... Some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Don't stay away too long! Thanks, yes ma'am. So, what I'm gonna do, actually, is... I'm gonna close this. Yeah, I'm gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna 
put y'all here. So, I think what I'm gonna do is probably wrap things up there, because we killed Benny, we got the platinum ship, I've got his gun and his suit. I, th I think that's I think that's a good, good bit of progress, considering I overslept today. So... fun getting to play uh, New Vegas again. So, as like tomorrow, I will be joined by the wonderful Faye. It's me, Xenoblade. Looking forward to that. I just have a couple things to take care of in the morning, so hopefully I can get those out of the way and get back home in time. On time. But yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And then that this is of course Friday. Getting more involved in the story because it's good. Looking forward to that. And the other stream for this week will be Sunday. I will be just, you know, doing something. I don't know what, but I'll be doing something. Chilling with chat. So yeah, thank you all for, uh, for stopping by today. Really appreciate it. I hope you all have had a good day. I will. A lot of stuff to come, and then uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about some stuff coming next week, a little bit later. So stay tuned. Appreciate it, and I'll see you again tomorrow.